Hey everyone, today I'm back with another bag video and that is going to be something I've actually never done before and that is a bag comparison. And I'm going to be comparing both the Gucci flat bag and the Gucci shoulder zip bag, like the crossbody bag. Ever since I got um, this shoulder crossbody bag, I've been getting questions on which one you guys should get if you if were in between either bag, on um, which one is worth the money because they are a pretty significant price difference and they're pretty much the same size which I'll get to in a second so um, today I'm going to talk about which one is worth it and I'm just going to be comparing both bags as far as just from using them um, which one I think is the better bag. Before we get started I just want to quickly say if you haven't already definitely hit that subscribe button below you'll get notified for videos like these in your YouTube subscription box so if you want to see bag reviews, fashion videos, favorite videos like beauty videos and home decor stuff um, definitely hit that subscribe button I would love it if you did and definitely give this video a thumbs up so if you want to see more bag reviews I'll definitely do more if you want them so um, let's get right into the comparison so this is the first time I've done a comparison so I have some notes and I want to get first started off with the size so this is um, the first bag this is the flat bag this is the small size flat bag um, it measures 10 inches across 6 inches up and down and 3 inch depth so um, this is the velvet version although they do have a leather version as well it comes in so many different colors I was actually looking at this exact bag in like the nude pink color as well I was back and forth in between them and there's like about a $200 difference between the velvet and the leather the leather is of course more expensive but I went with the velvet and it wasn't even because of the prices at that point I was investing the money into it um, but I mainly went into it for because I just thought the velvet was so unique but anyway um, that's the size of this bag and then this bag is just a half inch shorter in length this way um, this is nine and a half inches across this is five inches so it's one inch shorter than the other bag and it's the same depth it's three inch depth so I'm going to do a complete side-by-side -side comparison as far as sizing. I can't, I couldn't believe when I saw the dimensions but how close they were in size. The depth is the same and then I'll show you guys in front of each other. So pretty much looks the same. And to me, like even though I'm sure they're measuring to this piping, and this kind of lifts up a little higher with the zipper, so um, they look pretty much similar. So, as far as that goes in size, I would say they're very similar. Um, the difference is that this bag does have a zipper closure, and this bag right here um, it has a snap. So you just like pop this little thing here, and then it opens up, and it's just an open bag. There's a zipper inside. I have this one stuffed because I'm not using this one currently, but I have this, it has a zipper inside, but it doesn't have a zipper to the actual full bag inside itself. So um, it just really depends. If you like a zipper closure and you feel like, I don't want anything, but if it has to have a zipper, then obviously the choice is clear. Um, but if you don't mind either one, I mean, this really isn't too hard to get into. Um, you just pop, but for some, maybe that's an inconvenience, but I don't see it to be one for myself. Um, so yeah, as far as sizing and getting into the bag, they're pretty much just based off of preference. Um, and then as far as the feature of this bag, this bag could be worn, um, well, let's actually let's start with the red bag. So the red bag, you are pretty much, you're just limited to, it's a crossbody or if you want to wear it on the shoulder a long ways, um, that's the only ways you could wear it. You can't make it into a shorter bag, of course, I don't even think it would look right. So, um, with this bag, you have to, if you're a crossbody girl, um, this is totally good for you. If you're not into crossbodies, then this probably isn't for you because of course you can't make this strap any shorter than what it is right here. So it does have the like five notches to adjust. This is the shortest the bag goes. So the bag hits me crossbody right about, hits me crossbody like my hips are right here. It just hits me right here. So it is a little lower than my hip. As far as this flat bag, you can wear it double strap so then it could go on your shoulder like this. 
fits just perfectly under my arm. And then you could definitely wear it in the crook of your arm with the double strap. And then you could totally take this strap all the way down like this and you wear it like the same as the other bag. So you can wear it cross body. And this one does hit a little higher. This is my hips here. And as you can see the bag ends here. So this definitely sits a little higher on my hips. And then of course you could just wear it regular on your shoulder and as you can see that's where it hits me my hip again is right here it's a little lower when I do it on the shoulder so now that we have ways to wear the bag the difference between that and the sizing and the um, just ways to get in and out of the bag as far as whether it's a zipper or a snap closure um, now I want to talk about pricing because that could be a big difference for you as well um, so this bag right here and this bag there with the velvet version of this these it's a $500 price difference so um, you know that's pretty already a big difference for pretty much the same size bag and if you want this bag in leather it's going to be about a $700 price difference so it is pretty significant in price um, so uh, but for me I think that if you're going to invest in a bag you definitely want to just you know get the right one that's going to work for you because what the way I think of it is if you don't like cross say you want say you just really want a Gucci bag and you're between these two and you're like well I'm not really into cross body bags but I just want a Gucci bag so I'll just you know this one's cheaper so I'll get this but um to me I would probably wait a little longer if you're if money is the deciding factor for you and I would just get the one you want because even if you get like a nice velvet one you just say 500 more dollars instead of not even using if you barely reach for the back because you don't want cross body then you're already like wasting your money so if that makes sense i think that it's better to just wait a little longer for me i if i were in the situation that in that scenario i would definitely wait um a little longer or save up some more money until you get the bag that you really would use and wear and really enjoy so as far as what fits in each of these bags, I have what's currently because I'm using currently using this bag. So I'm going to place everything that I have in here and I'm going to place it into this bag just to show. So what you could, I'll show you. So this is pretty much filled to capacity. Like I probably wouldn't add any much more because it would just like start making the bag, like it would start stretching the leather. So I am going to remove the stuffing. By the way, like definitely when you're storing these bags, like stuff them with tissue paper, stuff them with anything um, to keep their shape. And here's the interior of this bag. It has like a teal, like a satin teal lining, which is so cool and cute. So I'm just gonna place everything in here that I have in this bag, just so you could see that they literally fit the same amount. To me, um, if anything, the pink one is going to fit like a tad bit more, obviously, because it is like an inch or whatever um, bigger, but I'll show you. This is actually, I know sometimes this bag does tend to look a little bit more when I add the same amount. Okay, so this is this bag with the same amount of stuff. I just had it here, I placed it in here, and I probably wouldn't even add any much more of anything. This is probably a little much because, as you can see, it's slightly bulging out here. So I'll remove my keys so you guys can see. So I basically have my wallet of Ray-Ban sunglasses, like in their case, a Cliff Bar, a Chanel Compact, a lipstick, earphones, and my key case, which has my car keys, my house keys everything I need in here. So, um, yeah, this is everything it would fit in here and not anything much more because maybe another lipstick or something very, very small. So as far as what they fit inside, it's, it, I want to say it's pretty much exactly the same. So, um, don't let that base your decision off of, oh, I could fit a little bit more in one or the other. No, like, even though this one is more expensive, you still fit the same amount in it. Um, and I don't know why it's so much more significantly expensive. Maybe, I don't know why because they're like the same size but um yeah so overall if I had to give advice on um, which bag 
is the better of the two. Um, it really just depends on your lifestyle. If you're across, I mean, my answer might be different from what I, someone else might say, but um, according to what I personally like, I would definitely say the flat bag if you're choosing an everyday bag. It just depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a travel bag, then I'd actually say this one is the better of the two, but a better everyday bag out and about, um, just more versatile bag, I would go with this one, um, hands down. Not even just because of the velvet version, but this, the bag itself, if you're going for the nude pink leather version or the black or whatever, um, you know, I would totally still go with the flat bag um, versus the cross body. But um, they each have their own purpose. They're good in its own way of not putting one bag down versus another. But I just want to do this comparison as far as like sizing and give you guys more information because if I were searching for, you know, which bag to get, I would like this kind of information because I don't really see too many videos like out there like this. So I thought I want to make it a little bit easier for you guys and kind of talk about the differences and the pros and cons between each. But I have to say I really do love each bag. But if I were to pick one, as far as what my preferences are, I, again, I would definitely say the flat version. Um, again, this version comes in velvet and leather. And, and the velvet, I want to say um, it comes in black, a darker pink than this, and then like a teal, which is really cute. And then it has a bunch of other colors in the regular version, which is like always like their traditional colors. And then this comes in like seven colors. This does not come in velvet from what I remember. This is just in the, the leather. So it all just depends on what you like. But I hope this was helpful to anyone who was on the fence between either bag and was just trying to make a decision. I hope this helped you. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, always feel free to ask them in the, the comments below. I would be happy to help you out and answer any questions that you might have about these bags. Or just any bag in general, or if you want to say hi, always feel free to comment below because I love hearing from you guys. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link both bags below in case you want to check any of them out. So that you have the direct links to them. Sometimes I get questions on if it's like the mini size or the small size. That way I'll just link it and then it takes you directly to the exact bag that I talked about. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you very soon in my next video.